welcome to the next video uh, so we'll try to uh, do a small program write a small program here so last video we have seen uh, what is a logical operator what are the different logical operators that we can use in c language so the program that i want to write today is write a program to check if the user given number is divisible by 7 right so we have to get a number from the user store the number then check whether the number is divisible by 7 or not Afterwards, change the above program to check if the user given number is divisible by 7 or 13. Right? So we just go ahead and start. So I'm assuming the user given data will be integer. So int okay, divisibility and all normally we check for integers. Only. So this is declaration. So those who have forgotten, the two double slash is for commenting, okay? So I'll ask user for the input. Please enter the number. I'll give you a line, semicolon. Store the user given value. Scan of. So remember that we are using an integer, so we have to use percentage D and we have to use ampersand num. Okay. So many people beginners forget this ampersand. So now what we have to do is uh, write the program check if the user given number is divisible by seven. Okay. So divisibility by seven, how do we do? So that is pretty simple. If num is divisibility so what you have to do is you have to use the modulo division operator so if you remember when we are studying the arithmetic operators there was a modulo division operator so that is this so what does this do is uh, actually this will divide the number by seven, uh, seven and give you the reminder okay so what i'm doing is i am dividing the number by seven and checking uh, taking the reminder and i'm checking whether that number is divisible equal to zero if it is equal to zero means automatically it is divisible by seven Right, so right, print of. So this is true means the number is divisible by seven. Correct. So if it is not the case, what you'll do is. Print of the number is not divisible by seven and reminder is is so I'll just give the reminder. Right. So code is ready. So we'll see. Seems right. So we'll run. Okay. So we'll check the number which is divisible by seven. So twenty one. The number is divisible by seven. So that works fine. So let's try with twenty two. So the number is not divisible by seven and the reminder is one. Okay. So just a quick recap, modulo division, so this is what is known as a modulo division operator. So what does it do is basically, so our input was 22, so if we divide 22 by 7, 3 times 22 is 27 is 21, so this is the output of this operation. Right? This is how modulo division works. Fine. Okay. So now we will quickly see the second part of our problem. What you have to do is uh, change the above program to check. 
so this is check I'm sorry for the few mistakes if the user given number is divisible by 7 or 13 okay so how do we do this so what i'll do is i'll just remove this okay so here what i'll use is i'll use so now it is clear that it is uh, divisible by 7 It is possible that a number is divisible by seven, thirteen, and not divisible by seven. So that also should be given to us. Okay, seven or thirteen. So we will use an OR operator. So OR operator is this. How do you get OR operator? You have to press the Shift key, and you have to press backslash button. Num modulus thirteen equal to zero. Right. So this is a relational operator. This is an arithmetic operator, and this is a logical operator. Right. So if this is divisible by seven or thirteen, number is divisible by seven or thirteen. Correct. If it is not the case, the number is not divisible by seven or thirteen. So I will not print any reminders here. So let's see. So 26, 26 is not not divisible by 7, but it's divisible by 13. Uh, so it is correct. The number is divisible by 7 or 13. So we'll see 27. Number is not divisible by 7 or 13. We'll try 28. The number is divisible by 7 or 13. Right? Uh, so I hope you understood how do we use the OR operator and how do we use this modulo division operator, right? So we'll see in the next video uh, with some.